Okay. <laughs> Um, so welcome everybody to uh, yay to the beginning of the next round of dream weaving technique. And so this is levity, our first class of levity. And remember, it's called lightened awareness. Okay, we are on mic to save my voice and to make sure you can hear me. So. <laughs> So, okay, so it's, it's, our nickname for this is called Lightened Awareness. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, we've got a nice series, this is essentially an overview of dream weaving technique. Just taking the levity series of classes is generally enough to, to still give a really good treatment. It wouldn't necessarily be called dream weaving, but you can still give a, a great treatment that targets the core and that you can still find ways to uh, be more specific if somebody has specific goals or specific ailments. Okay, so why is this reminding me of earlier in the week? Um, okay, so as an overview, essentially what we're going to do, remember dream weaving technique is We've got several different aspects that we'll cover every single series and that we try to cover in most classes. What we're going to do is kind of pair things up when, with the topics. So for instance, remember we've got self-care. I'm just going to put SC. Self-care. And then on the other end of that, we're going to have team building. Okay? That makes sense, right? There's the individuality and then the relationship aspect that we're going to look at. And they're mirrors for each other, or they're, you know, they're complementary. We're also going to look at um, allopathic viewpoint, or AV. And we're going to look at the holistic <coughs> viewpoint. HB. You can make we can make up all kinds of words with all these with these letters, but we won't. <laughs> we'll start texting it, and we won't know what on earth we're talking about. <laughs> okay, we're also going to talk about essential oils and their application. I'm going to put aroma application or AA. We'll look at the common threads, CT. And then there's this fun leg, and that's you. <laughs> so I'm texting. I know, I'm, I really highly caution against that when you're writing a paper, but, <laughs> but in this case, it's kind of fun. And so the, kind of, the, the whole idea is that where all of these things meet, and by the end of the levity class, we're actually going to do an exercise where you find, where you're able to find your own core oils, where all of these things meet. That's your core, so that you can roll right along in your life, you know, efficiently, healthy, and happy. Okay, so that's that's an overview of. All of the topics, we will always cover those topics in every series of classes. And most of the time, they will be paired the way that I mentioned. Okay? Self-care, that's paramount with us. There's always going to be something looking at yourself. Self-care and team building. We're going to do that today. Yeah. Well, the, the self-care is going to come in conjunction with the team building. Um, without, you know, flagging your... Well, you're, you're finding your core, so flagging your core. I know it sounds like flagging your core, but, <laughs> but <laughs> you'll see. We'll see. All right. And that's the thing about that many classes. If that, that's not a real smile. So <laughs> um, I, I aim to see a smile or hear laughter with every single class because we do. We want it, we want it fun, but still bringing awareness, you know, so. <laughs> Okay, so we've also got essential oils with the application. We're going to do that next week. A little more of that next week. Um, this week we're also doing 
um, holistic viewpoint as well as allopathic viewpoint. We're going to marry those two things together. And then there's that unique perspective as well as the common threads. Okay, easy enough? Any questions so far? Okay, so we've got, just real quick, what does SC and TB stand for again? On the self -care? SC is self-care. Oh, self-care. And TB is team building. Team building, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. And then we're going to have a parking lot. <coughs> okay, so if you have questions, you know, feel free to answer it. If it, it might get answered later in the class. Um, and if that's the case, or maybe beyond what we're talking about in the class. But I welcome any questions. Any questions. We don't hold anything back here. So that's the nice thing about us. We have a little bit of an advantage, right? That fruit ninja. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yay, we got to laugh. <laughs> so we've got the, right? We've, we want to make sure things move along smoothly. So if you have a question, we have valet parking here. <laughs> so what you do is you'll write down your question on the, you know, you ask it. And if, if it doesn't apply to that very moment, we'll stick it in the parking lot. And I, I don't have a hat, but I'll still I'll pick it up and I'll park it for you, and then we'll get to it at the end of the uh, at the end of the class. Okay. So, any questions so far? Nah. Okay. So here we go. So you've got your handouts already. So that was our overview, and we don't even necessarily need this anymore. And it's already in your curriculum. We've got your curriculum is listed. Everybody's got a folder. And then there's the curriculum listed with each series of classes. And it has this listed in there. OK? So off this goes. I'll try not to knock the whole thing over. Usually I have some sort of finesse. OK, so an overview, a lot. We're going to do more than the main chakras, the allopathic organ systems, and the five elements, five element theory from Chinese medicine and phases. Have all of you studied chakras? Yeah. Yes. I'm familiar with them. I wouldn't say I've studied them. Okay. Well, familiar is reasonable here because okay. we don't want to go too awfully deep mm -hmm. yet <clears throat> until we get to the next series of classes. Allopathic organ systems, good to go, studied it somewhat. If it's from the table to your head, give me a level of your comfort zone <laughs> with your hand. Just kind of, you know, give me a, an idea. I constantly read about that, so. Okay. It's a hobby. It's we want her to speak as much yeah. as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you're good? Okay. So we'll, so I'm going to take a different view of allopathic organ, organ system. Yes, we're going to look at the science, but we also want to look at a, a different holistic angle. And we're going to actually see how much it, it does blend with five element theory. And we are going to blend it. Okay. So here are the 11 systems. It's overwhelming. You're like, eek. You know, yeah, sure. But that's what we do in science. We have to compartmentalize, right? We've got double blind studies and, uh, you know, aspects around science. It's not bad. We're saying, hey, that's great. Let's look at that. They, they were able to dissect one piece out at a time. Cool. And then there's five element, the five element theory and philosophy. And that's, I we're looking at the, at the environment, and this is how all of nature works. And there is no, not there isn't necessarily one piece that is left out or looked at by itself, like we do with the allopathic organ systems. So we're saying, this is good, this is good, this is good. Ooh, let's add some oil to it, right? And hmm, let's see how they blend together so, and what it looks like. So we'll go from there. So today, Instead of going base chakra to crown, 
we're going to start breaking it down. And we're already going to start weaving things together. And I thought, we? You know, I figured you probably already know something about this stuff, so let's weave it together. This is the thing that's unique. Okay. Um, so today we're going to look at base or root chakra and pointing in the area and, and sacral chakra. Okay. We're going to leave out solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown for today. Okay. Oh, out they go. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> today we're going to look at reproductive, urinary, and skeletal system. Okay, the rest of them? Uh, I had digestive in there, that was the next one on the list, and you'll, you'll see why when we get to the next groups. Okay, and then we're also going to kind of look at water and a little bit of metal. Are you seeing the, the pattern here so far? Okay, the pattern, we're kind of going in the order of the chakras, right? We've got base <coughs> and sacral. I don't want to get this on my white shirt. <laughs> and believe me, I will. If it's dark and I'm wearing white, I'm going to get it on there. Um, right, we've got base and root chakra and sacral. What is in this area? Reproductive, urinary. Reproductive, urinary, and you'll see the tie. Well, skeletal, I think, would be definitely your base. I mean, it's overall, but it's, you have to have that. Well, but it also ties in with urinary. Okay? Oh, okay. We'll get to that, and we'll, we'll come back to that after you guys play. Sure. <clears throat> um, so, and then we also look at water and metal. The reason we're looking at metal, we're going to start with metal, we're going to end with metal. Okay? Not today, but in the whole series. Because we've got lung and large intestine, those are the two organs associated with metal in Chinese medicine. Okay, where is large intestine? Well, the end of it is at the end of us, <laughs> right? At our end. So, right where we've got, it doesn't quite. It goes through the sh sacral chakra area, but it also leaves out the base chakra. Huh. Well, that's kind of neat, eh? I think so. And just, just as a side note, large intestine is the yang organ, lung is the yin. And it's on the back of that, it's on the back of one of your sheets. So you can even write in, in that one column where it says uh, bowel, that's yang, and the organ is yin. Okay, so the yang is the masculine and the yin is feminine. We'll get to that in a, at another time, more, a little more in depth. And then we're also going to talk about water element. Why? Because kidney is the yin. Urinary bladder, which is right there, is the yang. So we're already starting to weave things together, right? We can already see, oh shoot, the chakras do kind of weave in with these systems that do actually kind of coordinate with these elements. Even their functions coordinate. So it's it's kind of neat. But you know, this class is levity. So we want to have some fun. We want you to have some fun while while you learn about yourself and your and your your own tendencies. Okay? We look at everything as a holistic, kind of as a hologram. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. And so maybe we should cut this part. And